Hi, this is Tom Brady with Vintage American Realty. Today we're going to go over what forms you need when you have a buyer. Okay, so the first two forms you need with every buyer at first substantive contact, which generally is going to be before you show them the first home. When you meet them at the home, you'll have them in sign in these in front before you go in in general. Okay, so these are the first two forms you'll need for every buyer that you're showing homes to. It's a New York State disclosure. Okay, it tells who you're working for. So depending on if it's a buyer client or buyer customer, you'll check buyer either buyer's agent or broker's agent, you'll put your name up here where Donna's name is and Vintage American Realty. Okay, if you're doing dual agency, which is covered in a different video, you could check that. That'll depend on if you're doing it or not. Okay, and I'm not going to get into the dual agency because that's a different video. Okay, then you'll have the signature of the buyer. You'll check here. They'll sign there. You'll date it. Okay, that's the first form you must have with all your buyers that you have substantive contact with which will be showing a home for sure. Okay, the second form you'll need is a new one, New York State Housing Anti-Discrimination Disclosure Form, otherwise known as Fair Housing Disclosure. Okay, so with this one, provided to me by, you'll put your name here, then Vintage American Realty, then I or we, if there's one name or two, you'll print there. Then you can line out the ones that don't apply, have them sign, sign, date, date, both of these forms, you should have two copies of, one for them, one for you, okay? Now, let's say that you go one step further and your buyer wants to put in an offer. You would need an offer sheet, okay? This is the offer sheet. Again, there's a different video on this, but quickly, you put the date, your buyer's names, seller's name, you'll get off the MLS where it says owner. You'll put the address and the MLS number here. Come down, purchase price down payment at contracts. So let's say they're putting 20000 down, 10000 at contract, 10 at closing. You put 10000 here, 10000 there. That make up the total down payment. Then amount of mortgage. Now you can check yourself by taking the purchase price, subtracting the down payment at contract, subtracting cash at closing, subtracting the mortgage. It should end up to zero. Okay, you can do the same thing going up. You could add the mortgage Cash it closing, cash it down payment, that should add up to the purchase price. Okay, so make sure you check your numbers that are right. Okay, the offer is subject to the following conditions. Usually you'd be an inspection within three to five business days. You would also, uh, if they have something to sell or any other contingencies, you'd put them here. Okay, anything that the offer is contingent upon. Okay, the offer does not constitute a formal contract, not binding. A formal contract will be signed on or about. Generally, it's going to be 10 business days, or you could put ASAP. Closing date, about 60 days, or ASAP. If it's cash, you might want to put 30 days, even though it won't close in 30 days. Purchase price includes percent of commission, so you'll get this from the MLS listing. If you're a buyer or a broker agent, see what they're paying to each and put that figure in there. Okay, you'll never have the purchaser sign. You'll never have the seller sign. Attorney for purchasers, attorney for sellers, self-explanatory. Selling agency would be Vintage American Realty. Selling agent would be yourself, your telephone number, your fax and email. Listing agency is the listing agency company. Listing agent's name, their telephone, their fax and email. Now, if you're going to put it in off, you're going to need two other forms, two other things, a pre-approval. Okay, so you're going to need a pre-approval to submit an offer, okay? And you're going to need a proof of funds, okay? So a proof of funds could be a checking account, bank account, a statement, stock statement, anything like that that shows that they have the funds to close. Between the mortgage and the proof of funds, uh, you have to show that you can close the deal. Okay, so those are the forms that you'll need with buyers. That should cover most of everything you will need for a buyer. Thank you.